Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video, you'll learn how easy it is to control PV's Revolver 4 in Reaper using the Invave Chocolate MIDI control. Let's get started. In order to control Revolver 4 in Reaper, we'll use a combination of long and short presses. We'll use long presses to change presets and short presses to toggle effects. Let's begin programming the chocolate controller in the Cube Suite editor. When you launch the Cube Suite program on your desktop, you'll be presented with this screen. To set up the chocolate to control Revolver 4, go to the Mode Selection tab and select Advanced Custom Mode. Next, click Foot Switch A and select Step Short or Step Long. You'll see a second box open labeled Bank B. When you step on a pedal, whatever you program in Bank A will be executed when you step on the pedal and release it. Whatever you program in Bank B will be executed when you step on the pedal and hold it. Let's begin by setting up Pedal A. Go to Bank A, double click the entry and select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select CC. For Data 1, we'll enter CC number 1. And for data 2, we'll enter 127 as the value. Now go to bank B and double click the entry. If bank B is empty, click the add button. Double click the entry and select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select PC. For data 1, we'll enter number 0. Next, we'll set up pedal B. Select Step Short or Step Long. Go to Bank A, double-click the entry, and select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select CC. For Data 1, we'll enter CC number 2. And for Data 2, we'll enter 127 as the value. Now go to Bank B and double-click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select PC. For data 1, we'll enter number 1. Now click foot switch C. Select step short or step long. Go to bank A, double click the entry and select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select CC. For data 1, we'll enter CC number 3. And for data 2, we'll enter 127 as the value. Now go to bank B and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select PC. For data 1, we'll enter number 2. Finally, click foot switch D. Select step short or step long. Go to bank A. Double click the entry and select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select CC. For data 1, we'll enter CC number 4. And for data 2, we'll enter 127 as the value. Now go to bank B and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select PC. For data 1, we'll enter number 3. To set up the expression pedal, select expression pedal and click interface. Click add. Double click the entry and select your MIDI channel. Enter 11 for data. The loosened value is the value of the pedal when it is fully open. Enter 127. The step on value is the value of the pedal when it is fully closed. Enter 0. Click OK. Close the interface and exit the editor. You're now done programming the controller. Let's set up Reaper. Before we begin we must first set Reaper to respond to messages from Chocolate MIDI controller. Go to Options, Preference and select MIDI Devices. 
Choose USB MIDI and enable it. Click OK. Click Apply and OK. Now we're ready to set up Reaper. In order to change presets in Revolver 4, you must have two tracks. For the tutorial, we'll insert Revolver 4 into track 1 and use track 2 for the MIDI controller. Setting up the MVAVE chocolate controller to change Revolver 4 presets in Reaper can be done in three easy steps. Step 1. Select USB MIDI from the drop-down menu in Track 2. Then drag the routing from Track 2 to the routing icon on Track 1 and ARM Track 2. Step 2. Go to Revolver 4 and choose your desired presets. Click the plus button and select Save Preset. Name the preset and click OK to save the preset. For the tutorial, we'll save four presets named 1 through 4, but you can name them whatever you wish. Step 3. Click the plus button and select link to MIDI program change and select your MIDI channel. Now, when you long step pedals on the chocolate controller, your presets will change. Setting up Revolver 4 to toggle effects is easy. Simply right click on an effect and select MIDI mapping. Create MIDI mapping for this control. And step on a pedal to MIDI learn the control. You'll see the CC number displayed. Click Done. Now the control will toggle. If you have an expression pedal, the process is the same. Before we end, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.